Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead and welcome to the 10K giveaway final results. So in this video, you're going to find out who won all the prizes and the giveaways with the Amazon cards and all of that. But before we get to that, I'm going to demo this Hilco 18 gallon bottling tank. So I thought it was time to up my game since I had 777 pounds of honey that I needed to bottle. And before I always used, I have two buckets, uh, five gallon buckets, and I have kind of a water uh, gate on it that's a high flow. I think it's three quarter inch and it's kind of slow. It gets the job done, but you know, at the end you gotta tilt the bucket and it's, it's you know, it, it served its purpose. So. I got a great upgrade and this was under $200 and it has the deluxe honey gate. So it's got this big old handle on it and uh, it slides up and down nice and smooth and it's supposed to have a pretty high flow and uh, it has, you know, the normal, normal diameter honey gate size. So it ought to really flow good. I keep my honey out there uh, behind the camera in the garage part of this building and it's over 100 degrees today, so it's probably about 110 out there in that barn. So the honey is going to be nice and warm when it's in here. It's going to flow really good anyway. So uh, also I have this uh, bucket perch. It's a Man Lake part 626, and it holds a five gallon bucket. After you dump it in there, you'll just set that on there like that and it holds that bucket and lets it drip on out while you're doing your thing here. So I'll be using that. And with that, uh, let's get started. I'm gonna get a five gallon bucket in here, get it up, uh, dumped in here, and uh, start bottling some honey. Let's get started. So this is a brand new bucket. It's still got the seal ring on it. So I figured rather than fill this tank down low where I could have a good angle at it, uh, I got a little step stool here and I'm gonna stand on that to dump it in here. Because, uh, well, for one thing, you can't set this flat on a flat surface because the gate hangs down about a half an inch farther than the bottom ring. So it would put a bind on that gate and be pushing it up and you might bend something or break something there. So you need to have it sitting on the table uh, with it hanging off of the edge. Don't open if this seal's been broken. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this open here. So this is one of the full buckets. I got another one out there that's got like 35 pounds in it, but these are all about 50 pounds. Yeah, and I don't think I could lift that with 100 pounds in it, and I, you're probably pushing the limitations of those handles there. I think it looks good and clean. There's one little spot right there I wanna get out. One looks like a little bitty piece of wax. And we got a few bubbles up here, but it's not bad. Just a shot of that honey there. Focus. There we go. Using a different tripod today. This is my wife's tripod. Mine, the leg fell off. <laughs> Okay, I think we got a good camera angle here. This always freaks me out. It's just a disaster waiting to happen, right? So I got a pretty sturdy step stool here. Make sure the gate's closed. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. And I'm going to grab it a little bit underneath. And it goes. Yeah, there's a lot of stress on these buckets when you lift them like that. The, there's so much weight, the edges squeeze in from these handles.
Oh, I didn't get on there right. There we go. Okay, let's get you a shot of what it looks like in there. So it's dripping out nice. See how it drips off the top ring there? That uh, I use that to go from bucket to bucket. It won't work because it drips outside. So you can see how much honey's in there. Looks to me like it's full to about right there. So that's how much five gallons was in there. So another five ought to be to about right here. Okay, since last year was such a bust on honey, uh, I had bought enough bottles with my honey revenue for the following year to have over 700 pounds. So I had, uh, you know, there's a lot of boxes out there of, of bottles that I haven't used. So I've got uh, two pounds, one pounds, and uh, three quarter pound bears. So these two pounds, I get uh, 20 bucks for those. One pound, I get $10. And the little bears, I get $8. There's the one pound. Same as the ones I got from Better Bee. They're identical. And here's the bears. Now the bears take a smaller label, which I have some. And I ordered some labels also from Better Bee. They came in, so they're, they're good labels. So they'll fit right on those one pound. The two pound, uh, takes a bigger label and I had some of those. So these part numbers are for the Bears CN530 and they come with the lids. And the two pound is CN255 and the one pound is CN235. So these are Man Lake part numbers, that's where I got these. So let's get to bottling some. So always have plenty of wet rags because you're gonna get honey you know, on your hands on the floor. So be prepared. <laughs> so what I like to do is have my empties on the right, pull it down, fill it, and I'll set the filled ones on the left without the lids on them and I'll just slide them. That way I don't ever have to get up from my bottling station. And once I get through a box, I'll grab all the lids, put the lids on, put the labels on and put them back in the box. All right, I'm going to start with the two pounds because <laughs> I need to get used to the flow rate of this thing. I really don't know where the honey comes out, you know, like where do I locate this bottle under here. After a while, I'll get used to it. And probably what I might do is slide this back to where I just put that bottle right against the countertop and it's in the right location. So I'm just going to have to figure this out. And uh, after I get a couple fill, I'll get a shot from down low so you can see that. Okay. Yeah, it's coming out right in the center. Boy, that comes out fast. My goodness. I mean, you, you gotta be careful. Okay. No drip. How about that? <laughs> Fill that dude up lickety split. Uh, with my other thing, I'd probably be halfway done with this bottle by now. So there's the first bottle of 2022. Ain't that pretty? Nice and clear, light colored. So I'm going to try and scoot this back. See if I can do what I was talking about. I don't know, man. It comes out of there fast. And one thing it does, I noticed, it's too far in. The faster it comes out, it kind of comes, starts coming at you. So you got to watch that. 
I need to move it out farther still. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's that's tricky. You can't do like I was saying. You're going to have to watch it. And uh, I need a shorter chair. And now I need my wet rag. So as it comes out uh, slow, it's closer to the inside. And the more you raise it, it's the flow starts moving towards you. So you can't just hold your, your bottle in one spot. I don't know about that. It's just going to take some getting used to. With my old five gallon bucket filler or bottle filler, I could just stick the bottle right up on the spigot, right? And there was no worrying about that. So I'm going to pull it back out where it was. Let me get you a shot from down low here. Okay, here we go. Whoa, see what I'm talking about? I wish there was a finer tune, a way to move that slider. I'll probably get used to it. Yeah, you don't want to fall asleep doing this one because it comes out fast. Had a little drip form right there on the corner. I think the best method is just to like put it right there and just go with that so it doesn't move on you. I think once I got the hang of the, how that thing swings, woo, don't get the shakes. <laughs> I think I got it down now. So keep in mind, these are two gallon bottles. Two gallon, two pound. <laughs> got a couple little drips formed there. So it's not completely drip free. Two more, three more. Once you stop in a certain place a few times, it kind of gets a stiction built into it where it uh, wants to always stop there. Whoa, that was fast. It looks like it builds up, you know, a little thin sheen of honey on the surface there. So there's the whole case of two pound bottles. That was fast. Uh, I like the speed of it. It's not as clean as the, the old fashioned five gallon bucket with the uh, little gate, but the speed uh, makes up for that big time. And I like the fact that I can hang my pail up here and uh, it's done. It's, it's cleaned out. You see there's no honey in there. So I can uh, put my next bucket up there if I want to. Okay, we'll put the lids on them real quick. I can feel these bottles that are warm from being out, outside. That honey, it's got a lot of temperature to it. I don't think I've ever done a case this fast. And here are my two pound labels. I ordered these from Man Lake.
and in the box they go. One thing I do like about getting bottles from Man Lake is you get them in a case and you get a box that they all fit in. So when you buy bulk, like those Better Be bottles are, you know, you can't, you can't carry them around in a box unless you got some boxes handy. But I sell a lot of, a lot of people just uh, come up to my house locally. And another little thing I add on is these little wildflower stickers. It's like I'm going to be too short. I got another roll in there, but I'm just going to stop there. Hey guys, I just wanted to give a real quick update on this bottling tank after I've used it for, I, well, I've filled up those cases right there and I got another case right here. So once I got down here uh, in position on a, I'm, I'm sitting on like a little automotive little stool that, with rollers, you know. So once I got down here where I can see this thing and I got used to the feel of this valve, I can fill a bottle in between four and five seconds. So you can go faster than that, but man, you, you can't be daydreaming because it, it feels fast and you whoop over the top but i just wanted to to recap and say man it is fast and i love it where you save your time you don't have to sit there with your bottle under the spigot waiting for the couple of drips to fall off that's the big difference in the thing that i've noticed and uh so with i with with me filling a bottle in four to five seconds, I can screw the lid on and have it sitting on the counter in eight. So if you do eight times 24, I can do a whole case in like three and a half minutes. And it's fast. I love it. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, first honey bottle of 2022. Man, that went fast. Two pound bottles there with the squeeze tops. And uh, looks nice. It's beautiful looking honey, which it always is from around here. So without further ado, I'm sure most of you fast forwarded to this point anyway. So let's get on to the 10K giveaway and see who won all these cool prizes. Let's get up to the Bee Farm Command Center and check it out. And bam, here we are in the Bee Farm Command Center. So uh, first off, I want to start by saying, uh, man, I am so sorry about the dang scammers uh, contacting everyone saying they won. Uh, I had no idea anything like that would happen i was more concerned about people contacting me and scamming me and stealing the prizes claiming to be someone else so i've got a little system for that and uh, i've done giveaways before and nothing ever like like this ever happened so yeah i guess live and learn uh i guess since my channel's a little bigger now uh those bots out there saw like giveaway and they keyed in on that. So they were contacting people saying, yeah, hey, you won. Uh, uh, congratulations. Uh, would you send me like $85 to ship this big heavy thing to you that you want? And they're like, oh yeah, sure. I'll, I'll do that. And uh, I think three people I know of said, yeah, I fell for it. And I think some of them, can get their money back. One guy said it was PayPal, so uh, he can claim a scam on that on them, I guess. But yeah, so I, I saw the video posted in the morning and I saw the comments coming in and I'm like, yeah, good, good. And, and uh, then I started seeing these responses with my little logo in there. I'm like, oh, great, what's this? So I started deleting and reporting them real quick. And uh, I thought I had it all. And, you know, the morning went on by and I had to go out of town. So I went, you know, out of town and a birthday party for grandkids. And uh, I came home and, and I saw all it, it happened again with different people doing it. So that's when I reported them all. And the next morning I had, I placed a comment on everyone's entry comment saying, hey, watch out for the scammer. And I'll put a a community post as well hey scammer watch out so i wish i'd have caught that second round of them a lot sooner 
But yeah, guys, really, I'm sorry for that. I feel terrible that that happened. But uh, so let's get over here on the spreadsheet and I want to run through uh, some of our sponsors and highlight them. And then we'll select the uh, winners and I'll show you how we're going to do that. So let's uh, get on to the computer. Okay, now a word from our sponsors. Our first company I want to feature is Hillco LLC. And there's his family there, nice looking family, good looking kids there. I want to point out this chat thing here. First time I got in here, uh, I dropped them a chat, asked them uh, what their uh, free shipping uh, threshold was. And uh, he, he replied instantly, $100. So I was impressed that he got right back with me. And so they, yeah, they have free shipping on $100. And another thing about this company, if you order like five boxes or five of this, five of that, that's that's normally the number. I think there's some other break numbers uh, like for frames and stuff, but you get 5% off. So yeah, it says right here, free shipping on, on $100 orders. So here you can see some of their product. I bought some of their woodenware and I have a video of that, uh, reviewing it. And uh, yeah, I was really impressed uh, with the quality of the, and I bought uh, some deep boxes from them. I uh, know, wait, it was Honey Supers. And uh, that smoker looks like that's a, it's got the good lid with the little spring thing. Mine has the little tab that bends right there. And I don't like that, but uh, they've got a lot of stuff here. And I found that their prices are very competitive. And if you get that $100 free shipping, and I didn't get charged tax on my last two orders. So, you know, I'm a good taxpayer steward and I write that down so at tax time I can be sure and pay that on my own. But uh, yeah, they don't charge tax here. Uh, if you're not in their state, I think is how that works. So here is the uh, bottling tank uh, that I, but I definitely got my eye on this, uh, uncapping tank but uh let's uh take a quick look uh here's the the tank i have but i got the deluxe uh, spigot right there and i got the 18 gallon so you can see the difference in height is only inch and a half between the 18 and the nine gallon but man i really like it i like you saw i can fill fill up bottles fast and it's great and the bottom is concave uh, so this is taller and this is lower here so the honey flows down and out your gate so honey can't get trapped in here in the back it might go back here and take a little longer to get them come around but uh, yeah there's no tilting it and all that so I used to have kind of a bucket set up kind of like this but with just a little water spigot tap thing it took a long time but uh, yeah, so that's $144 for that. I mean, that's not bad at all. And I got the 18, I think it was like 165, uh, 174. Yeah, not bad at all. So yeah, Hillco, top notch stuff, good company. Uh, they provided $150 for this giveaway. So there's the perch I have. So yeah, get on over to Hillco and uh, give them guys some business. They are excellent to deal with. Uh, the next company is Guardian Be Apparel. So Guardian last year sponsored me and they gave me uh, this uh, jacket. I think it's this one right here. I didn't get the really big veil that hangs way down. I got just the normal sized one. Uh, it's not going to show me a picture, but anyway, that's the one I have. You've seen it in all the videos. It works great. I got the XL. Fits me great. When I bend over a lot, <laughs> it it rides up in the back, so I did get stung in the backside uh, doing my uh, my honey harvest. I tried to buy some gloves. They were out uh, when I wanted them, so I got the Man Lake. Uh, Andre the Giant gloves. Uh, this is the hood that's the big long one. You can see how it kind of sticks forward more. 
I don't know why you would want that. Uh, I don't know. I guess keep it away from your face. But that would give you more room for the little fan things. <laughs> so in the full size pants, yeah. These don't get me down low very often. Occasionally they'll, they'll crawl up my leg and get me. Uh, the next one is Saracil. Yeah, so go check out Guardian Bee Apparel and check out their stuff. Good company. Uh, it took me a little while to get used to the zippers right here, but once I got used to that, man, I'll zip them right up, and uh, I have never had a bee in the veil, and <laughs> that's a good thing. Okay, Saracel, they sent me the Beast Blasters, I think they're called, or Busters, and uh, they're in New Zealand, and the thing I, they have that I like, I wish they'd sent it <laughs> instead of those deals, but hey, I'll take it. They sent this, these right here, Beast Blocker. I still didn't get it right. And these little levers fold down, and uh, well, you, can, you saw that in the unboxing video. And they work in combination with this high defender floor, where you can just uh, screw them with these holes to a wood box. So that's pretty cool. So I will send, uh, I'm going to send two of these. Uh, they sent me six. I'll send two, three different winners. The thing I really like is their uh, top feeder. Let's see if we can find that. Uh, innovative, maybe? Yeah, there's the beast blocker. Uh, here they are. That's This is her five frame nuke, their feeder. Here we go. Uh, Ten frame. So you can get that little, I don't know if it's plastic or if it's real flexible like silicone. I'm thinking it's more flexible. You can get just the insert for that much. That's not much. I don't know what shipping costs though from them because they're in New Zealand. It might be a little pricey. But here's with the wooden wear. Man, I'd like to get some of those and just build my own. I'm going to have to look into that. Yeah, so y'all check out Saracel. Good company. The guy, very nice. He reached out to me uh, last year or the year before, and I said, yeah, send me your catalog. I'll check it out. And I never did get back with him, but yeah, they got some good stuff. Oh, here's the fan. They've got their own fan. So, and I'm a fan of the fans. I'm here to tell you. Oh, real quick, uh, here's a local or United States-based Blythewood Bee Company, and they had this feeder. But it's 32 bucks there. And uh, so I don't know. And they come in eights. And there's the nuke size right there. And they also have other stuff at this Blythe Wood. But you can get you some pins, get you some wood bleach. Here's the ProVap. This is one I have. 485, yeah. That's what I paid for mine. So there's other options now out there. And that new uh, uh, InstaVap or whatever it's called with the DeWalt batteries, man, I want one of those bad. Okay, let's uh, let's get to the drawing. Ooh, where'd it go? There we go. So, man, we had a bunch of entries. 272. Stanley Lovett was the last one. I cut it off today. Uh, we're ending it. So, uh, yeah, there's a bunch. Oh, that guy. This guy's on probation here, so no. Actually, Keith is the one that won the weight contest, so I wanted to point him out. So he has 0.2 pounds. Uh, I had 777.8 pounds, and Keith guessed 778. So congratulations, Keith, on that. So yeah, that here are all the entries, and this is not JP the B man. It's just J the B man. He was the first commenter. So that's how I entered these from the oldest to the to the latest. So yeah, bunch of names. I'm not gonna read them all like I did that other video. But yeah, there's a bunch. Oh, oh this guy, he wins the contest for having the longest name in the history of YouTube. Uh, there's some cool names. <laughs> Bubba Burke, yeah. Yeah, there's some funny ones. Okay. So what we're going to do, I built me this little spreadsheet here. 
Okay, on my spreadsheet here that's going to pick our winners for us, it has a random number generator here uh, between uh, 1 and 272. And uh, this cell right here will look up that number above and tell me whose name is next to it. And that's the formula right there for that. So, without further ado, I'm going to hit the F2 button and that's going to uh, toggle this name right here. And uh, we'll get our first name uh, for our first Beast Buster uh, pair. Number 222. Let's see who that is. Robert Campbell. The second Beast Buster pair goes to Randall Jarnigan. And the third pair of Beast Busters goes to James Freeman. All right, now we're gonna do four Amazon gift cards. And the first one goes to Michael Pereira. The second Amazon gift card goes to Lee's Bees. Apiary. The third Amazon gift card goes to William Kayen. The final Amazon gift card goes to Wesley Hoskins. All right. And now for the good stuff. The $100 promo code to Guardian B Apparel goes to Jesse Reynolds. All right, Jesse, congratulations. And the Grand Prize Hill Co. LLC Beekeeping Equipment $150 goes to Kevin Say. All right, congratulations, Kevin. Okay, we're going to do uh, five alternates. So if these folks here don't claim their prize in 30 days, uh, I'm going to go down here to alternate winner. So Bill Addington is the first alternate. Second, Bubba. Bubba Burke. Third, Life on Spokes. And four is Jeez Bees. <laughs> and five is Kevin Holt. All right. So, two, claim your prize. Email me at darjerome at yahoo.com. Your email may not be the same as your name here, that it's on YouTube. So identify yourself as who you are. So if you were G's Bees, say, I'm G's Bees, and I'm here to claim my prize. And I will say, okay, G's Bees, here's your secret code, and I will give you a code. And I'm going to record the codes over here and go to this video comment in the comments the code that I gave you. Type that in there and hit reply or post comment. And when I see G's Bees type just like that and the same logo uh, as before on the prior video where you entered, so I'm gonna make sure I get the right people. Once I verify it's you, I will, I will email you your promo code or I will ask you for your uh, address and I'll ship you your Beast Buster uh, entrance blocker. So that's how that's going to work. All right, that's awesome. So uh, congratulations to the winners, and uh, I will catch you on the next beekeeping video. So, you know, I was talking about some of that stuff at Hilco. I may have placed an order, and there may be an unboxing in the future. So y'all be sure and keep an eye out for that. Uh, we will be getting down into the hives and doing our summer beekeeping and taking care of some things. I have three hives that look suspect, like they may be uh, in trouble. So this is the time of year when you get your uh, wax moth and small hive beetle infestations. So you all need to be watching for that. You can smell a hive when it's going bad. So you might walk around your hives and sniff up a little bit downwind. And if you smell it, you'll know the smell. It's not a pleasant thing. You need to nip that in the bud. 
So with that, we'll end this. And uh, thank you all again for all you've done for my channel. Appreciate all you all watching. And we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.